Good afternoon. It is 1.30 p.m. here in Hermitage, Tennessee, May the 18th, a lovely sunny Saturday. Um, I'm doing this video mainly to explode a myth, sort of, about green screens. As you probably know, if you've done any playing with green screens and watched any videos about them, they, you know, you need a certain shade of green. It should be a matte finish, not shiny or anything. It should be, the color should be the same all the way across. Uh, and that's true to an extent, but not really. I'll show you why. As you can see, this is the Elgato green screen right here. Okay. This is a green satin tablecloth. You can see how shiny that is. All right. Now, I'm going, I'm recording this in Zoom, so I have the choice of virtual backgrounds. Watch what happens. I'm going to change the background here. I'm going to go over here. First, we'll select a white background just to see how this does. As you can see, you don't see any difference between the green here and the green over here. And it doesn't matter. You know, that's with a white background. I can do a green background. I can do this. You'll know that you can't tell where that seam is here at all. The key to everything is lighting. It may take you a while to find the correct setup, but as you can see, it, it works great if you play with your lighting long enough. I have, uh, it's taken me lots of jiggles and, and moving tripods and everything. But, and the secret is a lot of light. And don't have any light coming in behind you that will destroy it entirely like this Elgato green screen right here. You see, you can't even see it moving. It just doesn't. And yet, you know, the seam is right here. That's where the seam is between the Elgato and the other one. But you see how, like I said, the secret is lighting. So if you've got two different pieces of green material that aren't neither one is wide enough for you, put them together. Try playing with your lighting. You may be surprised you don't need to buy anything else. You've got everything you need right there. And when it comes to lighting, I cannot recommend highly enough the Viltrox lights. They are adjustable, both for color range from 3600 to 5400 and for brightness. And they are not expensive at all. You know, I've got one, two, three of them used on this. And I've got, uh, then I've got one of the old clamp lights just up in the corner aiming down on this particular side of the thing. And of course, it's daylight, so I've got sun coming in or a natural daylight, the sun's not actually coming through the windows right now. That doesn't happen until about three. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that having multiple shades of green can work as a green screen. You don't need one all the way across. If you've got two, you know, 36 inches of different colored greens, put them together, hang them over a rod, see, see what they look like, play with your lighting. You know, it can save you some money. Of course, I will say that if you can't afford it, the Elgato green screen is a godsend. Especially if you're in a small space and you can't leave it up all the time. This is phenomenal. Anyway, I'm going to end this recording now and get it up on YouTube. And thanks for watching.